Welcome to Southwest Yard and Garden. I'm John White. Today we're going to be talking about an important subject, mowing. And I know that puts a lot of fear in some people's minds, but uh, there are some uh, do's and don'ts as far as mowing, and we're going to talk about some of the do's and don'ts on today's program. So first thing we want to look at is the different type of mowers that are available. Uh, this one is called a reel type mower and uh, this has a spinning set of blades on it, sometimes five blades, sometimes seven blades. Can be power driven or can be the old manual type. Uh, if you want good exercise and a workout, the manual is a good one to use. Um, this one works on the um, motion of the blades coming across another stationary blade. So you have a scissoring type action of the, of the grass blade, so it cuts it off very clean and if it's kept sharp, you have a very clean cut, so this machine is preferred where you want a highly manicured lawn uh, where it really looks nice. Uh, if you think of a golf green, a lot of those are mowed with a real type mower and that gives you a very clean cut, very nice looking yard. If the blades are kept uh, pretty dull, then you'll end up with an irregular cut. Um, sometimes you'll have some broken off ends and they'll turn white on the end so your yard will take on maybe a little bit of a grayish cast on the very top. So again, these need to be sharpened. I would probably have them professionally sharpened when they do need to be sharpened. This mower is a safer mower um, than the rotary type mower because if you do happen to get your fingers caught in this, unless you get down to actually where the scissoring action happens, um, it'll bang your fingers around, but it may not really uh, cut them like a rotary will. But uh, this is a real type mower. Uh, you can get it in different widths. It throws the clippings out the back. Uh, you can get bag attachments to put onto it if you wish to collect the clippings. We like to see you not, so it requires maybe a little bit more frequent mowing. Now the rotary type mower is one that has a blade that spins at a very high speed as long as you keep the, uh, the blade sharp on it. We have a spinning blade underneath. The blade has to be kept very, very sharp because as it's spinning around, it actually severs the leaf blade off. And if it's not sharp, then it ends up tearing it or ripping it off. And if it's real, real dull or you're in some very high grass or wet grass, a lot of times the, the grass will clog onto the blade and the blade will actually yank the grass out of the soil. So you want to keep these blades very sharp since it does have a spinning blade on it, balance on the blade is important, so you don't want to, when you sharpen them, take too much metal off of one side and not take an equal portion on the other side because it is on a spinning shaft. Again, these can be uh, dangerous, so first thing you want to do is make sure the yard is free of any toys, dog bones, anything like that, rocks, because these will fire them out of it. Sometimes they will come out under the the uh, canopy of the, of the the hood of the mower or it can come out the discharge chute or maybe out the back of the mower if you have a bagging device so you want to be very careful with those um, again this is a rotary and a real type mower as far as mowing heights what we want to look at is take a ruler and measure the height of the grass you want to get down to the soil level Measure the height on this. This is about an inch and a half. This is a hybrid Bermuda grass. Uh, inch and a half is a little bit on the high end for hybrid Bermuda. You probably want to look at somewhere, uh, can be mowed down as short as a half an inch on up to maybe about an inch and a quarter. Uh, what we would do on mowing is that we'd like to not take more than a third of the leaf blade off at a time. So if we're taking a, a large portion of the leaf blade off, we're actually getting down into the stem tissue of the grass and where sunlight doesn't get to and you get into the brown area and then the grass is very slow to recover. So the important thing on mowing is to mow on a regular basis where you're taking not more than a third off. So the bad news on hybrid Bermudas or on some of the Bermuda grasses, you may be talking about doing it twice a week or maybe once every four to five days. So that's probably a lot different than what most people are doing once a week, but you will end up with a much nicer, healthier yard. Um, when we're trying to determine height, um, 
The reel type mower has a different type of height adjustment than the rotary. The rotary usually has adjustments on each wheel. And what we're going to do is just move the attachment here and it'll raise it or lower it. And you want to take your ruler and measure the cut on it and see how much you're cutting off versus how much uh, was on the grass originally. On the reel type mower, there's some adjustments in the back that you can adjust with a screwdriver and uh, you can do different height adjustments on it. The reels usually mow at much lower uh, heights. Um, some of your rotaries, you can go up to almost two and a half, three inches in height as far as your mowing cut, whereas these stay more in the uh, you know, inch and a half and on, on down lower. So uh, these give you the much cleaner cut, but these can be used for, for different reasons. Um, this rotary has a side discharge and again as long as you're cutting the grass at a third or less uh, of the leaf blade when the grass is discharged a lot of times it'll filter on down to the soil level and will decompose if you have a mulching type mower which usually has an extra blade on it so it finally chops the, the leaf blades you can leave the clippings it blows it out the bottom of the unit and kind of blows them down to the ground level or at least blows them down through some of the leaf blades and then they will filter down to the uh, soil level where they will decompose. So the key to mowing is not taking more than a third off at a time. So let's, let's fire one up and we'll show you how it's done. Some of the problems that we can run across when we're mowing, one is scalp areas. This is where the mower was going along. There might have been a little, a little bit of an irregular spot in the lawn. The mower suddenly dropped, took off a chunk of grass, more than what we wanted cut off. This may take a week or two to recover. Some of the other areas, you can see how we have kind of a little bit of a brown patch here, a little brown cast to it. This is where this particular grass probably grew taller than some of the surrounding grass and when you mowed you mowed more than the third off at a time here it's browned out again it's going to take a couple weeks for it to recover and here we have some excess grass that's built up on the top this is probably where the mower was either mowing the grass where it might have been wet might have had some dew on it um, maybe the grass was too tall and you're cutting off more grass than what the, actually the mower could take care of and just threw the excess grass out from under the uh, canopy of the mower. And this will probably need to be remowed because you need it rechopped and pushed down to the ground where it'll uh, go ahead and de decompose quickly. So if you feel the need to bag it, at least compost it. We'll be back in just a moment. 